let's see if it carries over here into game two of this series tonight. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Really looking forward to this one tonight. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Chekovic. Moscow's got the puck here in the open ice. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. Four yards called for Tripp, and he's off to the box. takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Kamenev's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. And that's blocked from someone in front. The trickers. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. It's in! He scores! I love this play. It's a great compete to get to the middle of the ice and gain position to be able to get your hands. A great hand-eye coordination to be able to deflect the puck into the net. Moscow's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Quick feed to Alexia. And he takes the feed. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Takes a shot. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. On the back. Scores! They tied it up. And we are back to even. Well, working hard. Sticking to the game plan with good help. And they're back to evens. Well, this is a hard-working goal as well, James. You gotta fight for that inner area of the ice, you know. And when you're in that low slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're gonna come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. Here in the late goings of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Officials are set. Players seem ready to ready to get this thing back underway. Svechnikov's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Looking for that go-ahead goal here as the play is underway in a second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. You're fortunate to be in a tie game here, James. I mean, they popped the puck. Trying to shake loose. Denies him on the breakaway. Beats it down low. Moves behind the net. Moscow's got a hold of the puck. Deeds plays it against the boards. Sends a pass over. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, of the half to energy. He's trying to be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. 
Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Chickers are up by one here in period number two. Uh, and these are the games you have to learn how to win. You know that this is going to be a dogfight right to the end, and it's going to be the details that make all the difference in the world. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Gillison's got it in the offensive zone. He's got a little jump. Slides it across. There is it for the goal. I love his awareness on this breakaway. His head is up the entire the goaltender is giving him. He sees some daylight, quick release shot, and he buries it. Moscow's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Puck picked up by Williams. Great pass from off the right side. Here's a shot! Moscow's got the puck against the half wall. The checkers will play it against the boards. Misses wide. Now you're, uh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Moscow's got the puck near the back end. Let's get the call. The lost connection have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. The Trickers send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Moves it to the middle! Picked off in front. The Trickers played along the wing. Long jam in front, that's broken up. The checkers walk the line. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's an offensive chance. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. available to them, James. That's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. He is such a gifted playmaker. He's got eyes in the back of his head, and it's not just about the pass he makes, but it is so accurate, tape to tape, that it makes it easier for the shooter to execute. The Checkers still have a lot of time left in this game to even make this even more lopsided, but Cheryl, late here in the second, they are dominant. Well, it's pretty hard to believe that you start with the adrenaline running, you got the competitive juices flowing, and there is no lag in their play. It has been a consistent effort, and they simply have lit their opponent on fire. ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Moscow's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive, they've been elusive, and they've driven the net when they should have. And we're still only in period number two. ...in that low slot and makes the save. Moscow's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Yaroslavl's got the win off that draw. Chekovic is across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. 
And that carries off a stick. Pinned up along the board. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. <sighs> 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. It has been a thorough dismantling for the first 40 minutes. Let's see if they can try to change that here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Eurosav's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. they got to do something when they get the puck, and they've got to be confident with it. The lost connection have gained control of the puck along the wall. Denied that one. The checkers take possession here inside the offensive zone. Denies him with a save. A chance from the slot. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. The checkers are getting two minutes for tripping. Yaroslav will send in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. Break away! tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Yellison's got it across the line. Yaroslavl's got the puck against the boards. And the redirect goes awry. Answered the call on that play. Yaroslavl's on the attack. Here's a shot. Stops it with a glove. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to Bruderico. Makes it look easy with the stop. The checkers move it in. Centering to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, they do it again. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? The checkers lead it late in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Moscow's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. That's all she wrote from this one. 
tonight. 1-1. One, one. And if you asked anybody going into this series if they'd be surprised where the series would be at at this point, I think everybody would say no. Yeah, no. And I would say no. You would say no because we see that this might go the distance. And when you're best on best, your players have to respond after a loss. And that's exactly what happened. They've got them now square even. And now it's back to the grind. And it's going to be a real and fun and entertaining series here, James. We know it's going to be back and forth. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight. And we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See you.